Hey there YouTube, this is Matt Bowler. The 2017 baseball season is over. So, I figured I would show my baseballs that I got signed through the mail, TTM, during the 2017 season. And that will officially end my baseball videos for this season. I'll let you know how much I donated, if I donated, how many days it took. I won't say the address, that is pretty much can be found online. You can pay $15 and get a lot of good access to addresses. I wasn't going to do TTM videos, but this guy does a nice job on his YouTube channel, Steelers Sidelines. He has TTM Thursdays. So I thought, why not? Let me go ahead and do it as well. The first baseball I ever got TTM through the mail, Commissioner Robert Manfred. I offered $10, sent a letter of request, and he sent it, and I also, with all these baseballs, do send return shipping. I put seven envelopes on a bubble mailer that I put inside of a larger bubble mailer that I put seven stamps on, but my return envelope is seven stamps, and he not only returned a baseball signed, but he also included the $10 that I offered him, which was really nice that he gave it back. This only took nine days. It is on an official Manfred Baseball. So that was a really good start to my TTM Baseball collection. I really didn't want to send this to anybody risky. The next person I sent to is a TTM champion up there with Bobby Durr. As far as the TTM champion is concerned, we have Bobby Shantz. I sent him a Bud Selig baseball, and he sent me back this Manfred baseball. He must pre-sign a lot of these when people send it to him, because he threw a ridiculous amount of inscriptions on this. This is beautiful. And there is, of course, another panel... Great guy. On that panel, he has all of his stats from 1952, his best year. I gave a $20 donation. This was returned back to me in six days. He wrote a nice note thanking me for the donation. He doesn't accept donations, but he'll gladly take it to the Salvation Army next time he goes to the mall. And I'm no problem with that donation going there. My third baseball to show you, Brooks Robinson, who a lot of people have been sending TTM, and I can't blame them. I really wanted the Human Vacuum Cleaner inscription, which he signed at Human Vacuum Cleaner. That was a $75 inscription request at the National, 2016 National. I gave him a $40 donation asking for the Human Vacuum Cleaner inscription, and he also added his Hall of Fame here, which is great. That is an awesome TTM with a great inscription. I see people posting successes of him, but they're not asking for that particular inscription, but I think that's a great one. And that only took 11 days. My fourth one to show you, Lee Smith. I asked for both inscriptions, the 478 saves and seven-time All-Star, which he included. Gave a $20 donation. I believe he was asking $15 for autographed baseball requests. But I thought, if I'm going to ask for two inscriptions, let me just make it a $20 bill. And if you're wondering, I do send cash. I do not send a check. Which is risky. But I'm sending it to people who have a good track record. This was returned back in 19 days. Next up... I did not offer a donation. He returned it back sign. Bud Selig on a Bud Selig baseball. These are all official Major League Baseballs. Every one of these I'm showing you. That was returned back in 24 days. 
I saw some returns recently for him in which he does add his Hall of Fame inscription now. The next guy is not as big of a name. I believe he coached for the Orioles, but he was also coaching staff for the Pittsburgh Pirates back in the day. That's Ray Miller. I offered $5. He returned the $5 back saying something along the lines of, you know, you paid for shipping, so don't worry. Here, you can keep the 5 bucks back. This was in seven days. A week before I even sent this one out, I had received a TTM back. I sent a card and asked if I could send him, you know, a baseball and a little helmet. And he replied, yes, that would be his pleasure. Because no one had sent any larger items to him. And not many people had successes with him, but he did not mind. So I definitely went for it. That's a cool item. My seventh of ten baseballs. This is a cool one. The movie Major League. Chelsea Ross, who played Eddie Harris. I sent a $10 donation with this, which he sent back. Sent back the donation. This only took 10 days. Ask for the inscription. You trying to say Jesus Christ couldn't hit a curveball? This is on an MLB Authenticate game ball as well. This ball was... Uh, well, it was pitched by the Pirates' John Neese and fouled by the Rockies' uh, Para. But, you know, it's... Um, I wanted to send a game-used ball. Because I have another Major League game-used ball from the movie. Signed by a member from the movie Major League. So I wanted to keep that theme consistent. Plus, I don't really care to get Jonathan Neese's autograph. This, this is a pretty much a cooler way to get a, a picture from an awesome movie to sign a game-used baseball. This was not TTM. This is a bonus one I'm going to throw into. This is what got me inspired to do some Major League, the movie Major League ones. I got this at a local Steel City Con event a little while ago. Corbin Burnson, he played Roger Dorn. As you can see by the Dorn inscription. I also asked for his classic Strike This Mother Effer Out. I don't want to show the word on here. I just don't think that's appropriate, but... I think that's an absolutely awesome baseball. I picked this up. It's a it's actually a strikeout ball that James McDonald of the McDonald of the Pirates struck out Pablo Sandoval back during the 2007 no 2012 season. So it went along with the collection when, when I got the Chelsea Ross TTM. So that I paid I believe 40 bucks for that autograph. But that was not a TTM, but that was my inspiration. Plus I wanted to show it off a little bit. Number Eight. Eight of my ten TTM balls. This was a $20 donation. It took about two weeks. We're talking 14 days. Don Larson, I requested and got the World Series Perfect Game inscription. He added the date. Turned out really nice. The last two are Hall of Famers. Oh, my celebratory sign on my stay up. There we go. My big expensive banner to celebrate this TTM video. Gaylord Perry. $25 donation. Took 16 days to get back. Added both inscriptions I requested. Hall of Fame 91. And his Cy Young years. That came out pretty nice. And finally, now this autograph came a little bit light, but he has such a great autograph, that's fine. Goose Gossage, include the Hall of Fame 2008. I sent a $20 bill. Apparently he'll sign baseballs for free, but... I also was fearful he might use a black pen or a Sharpie or whatever. Let me also say, whenever I send TTM, I always put a blue pen in the envelope, too. I usually don't get them back, but every single baseball I've gotten back has been signed in blue pen. Manfred and Chance signed in their own funky blue Sharpie-type pen, but everyone else has used probably my blue pen or a blue pen. So that one came out well. 
I'd like to thank you for watching my TTM video of my 2017 baseballs season baseball returns. Please feel free to like the video or comment and subscribe. Thank you very much, people. Take care.